It's a mushroom madness. Hey everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'll tell you what we're doing today. We are actually in the woods looking for morel mushrooms. We've got perfect conditions. We've got a great chunk of property here that's just loaded with morels. And so far we've been out here for probably, I would say maybe an hour and take a look at the gold that we found here. Look at that. We've got grays and yellows in there. This is something that I've never done before, but it's something that I'm gonna be doing for the rest of my life. These mushrooms are absolutely everywhere. And you know, who doesn't like spending time in the woods? We've got our expert Uncle Perry with us today. Hey, I'll tell you what, Uncle Perry, you have definitely taught me a quite a bit of stuff in the last hour. I knew nothing about mushrooms. I'm constantly in the woods. I've never even seen a morel before, so I had to be stepping all over them for the last couple of years. Fine, you're doing a lot better. You're fine, you're fine. Take you still have a lot better eye than I have so far, too. It's a fun sport. It is. Well, so. What are we looking for? Let's tell everybody the trees we're looking for and what kind of condition the trees have to be in. Now, this last tree we found here has just been absolutely dynamite. Yeah. I, I just more or less pick my dead elm trees and you want to have the bark just flaking off and uh, the little branches on top. This tree probably died a year ago. And, okay. And it's just producing like, just great conditions. It's producing like crazy in here. You can see by the, by the results, we're it, finding a lot of them. And it's actually a little later than in the year than yeah, it, it is typically is because it's been so cool, oh, huh? Right, right. Now we had some heat yesterday, the last two days, and a lot of these are real fresh from last night. They're going to be great in the fry pan. I cannot wait to show everybody how we prepare them and cook some up for sure. But, hey, I'll tell you, this is definitely something, you know, I've heard of people doing this and never thought a lot of it. And even though I love to eat mushrooms, especially morels, but once you get out and do it, it is extremely exciting and fun. It's just like the challenge and, and to train your eye to, to look for these morels. You know, Perry's like, oh, there's one right in front of you, two feet right there. He, and I go two feet and I'm like, I don't see it, where is it? He's like, your hand is like four inches from it. I'm like looking at him and I look back at him and I look back at my hand and I'm looking, looking. And finally it's like, oh, there is one there. So, wow, yeah, this is cool. Hey, let's hang on to your honeys. Let's uh, keep her moving today. Hey everybody, I'm gonna get a little bit uh, farther in here. Definitely, uh, there's a lot of foliage in here, but the mushrooms are absolutely thick in here. This is so cool. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ho, 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 ho. Mother load. Look at that. Absolutely the mother load. Look at all them mushrooms. They are all over the place. Look at them back in there even too. Okay, hand me the bag. I'm gonna need it. Yeah, here you go. Oh man, look yeah, at this. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Just keep filling. You know, sitting at home, bored, got nothing to do. Get out of that house. Look at this. Holy man. Look at that. They're just everywhere. Every time, like I move my hand. Oh, there's another one right here. Look at that. Oh. Ah, I love the smell of that. There's another one here. Oh man. Oh, it's just, oh, oh that's my stick. Oh, there was one just past it, Dulo. Yup, look at this. Man. Oh yeah. Let's see what else. Oh, there's another one right here. Oh my gosh. It's like every place you look, you find them. I'm loving this. You just gotta find the right tree. I'll tell you what, we've been doing this for about an hour now, and we found, you know, a few trees that had, you know, four, five, six by them. Uh, I think the most was 10 before we hit this tree, and now we probably pulled, I'm gonna say a good 40 to 50 so far, just off of this tree, and we're just making circles around it. It's amazing that you make one circle around it and you think you got them all, and all of a sudden you just turn around and go the opposite way. How many more you see just at a different angle? You know, you're looking at it a little bit differently. It's amazing how they blend right in. This is definitely cool, cool stuff. You do get awful excited. Look, at, there's a bunch more right here. There's some more right here. I just can't believe that this is the third time I've been through here. Oh, there's it, and I was just, hey, I was just over on the other side and look at, I was just there and I came around. There's some more sitting over there. And I was just my I was just kneeling down right there. How can that be? Huh. 
Right there's another one. Just making a little pile. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute and kind of analyze this because so I don't have to go back. Oh, there's another one right here. Look at this. It's like you got some more up there too. It's a mushroom madness. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I think they're growing as I'm cut, as I'm going around. I do. There's no way, because I just went through there three times. See how wet these are? They've been up before the rain. They're okay. They're dissolving and they're not fresh, but they could have produced more from the spores that came out of them. But they're still good eating. They're good, like take that mold off and, and put them in a little water. They're perfect. Nothing wrong with a little mold, I'll tell you that. Oh. Got one. So now let's tell everybody what we're gonna do with them. Now we're gonna slice them in half and rinse them out real good, put a little salt water on them so they get the bugs out and stuff, and we're gonna fry them up and make them. Hey, that's the part that I've been waiting all morning for. Yeah, you know, Perry, I, it doesn't look like there's like any bugs or anything in them, and I never got any bugs on my hands, but they actually some bugs will oh, curl up in there. Ant or something, or let's put a little salt on them and we'll draw them out and then rinse them out real good. And okay. Just cut them in half. I'm interested to see what you actually cut off, like if, if this yeah, is kind of moldy yeah, right here, so you off, yeah. trim a little bit of that yeah, off. Yeah. Okay. Some of these real fresh ones, this is, there's nothing to trim on it. Just rinse them a little bit and, and cut them in half and fry them until the juices come up on them. And when they start popping in the pan, and they add a bunch of butter and a little salt, and pepper, and garlic. They're awesome. Ooh, I want to see how awesome they are. Hey, everybody, hold on to your heinies. Let's move to the next process here. So you actually cut them in half? Yeah, huh? so you can see better. Yeah. You know, that just blown all that, whatever you got in there. They look real clean. Yep. It's a little little burnt from the sun or a little older. Cut that just off. Just cut that off. And then split it. All them little pieces are good. There's no wrong. All the juices are just about cooked off now. And they're just starting to pop a little bit. You want to get all that. No. I'm going to add a butter, a big chunk of butter. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I can understand why you were so picky when you were uh yeah, save every morsel. cleaning them. Yep, man. That is absolutely fantastic. Oh. Mm. oh. Hey Uncle Perry, I appreciate yeah, you appreciate showing it. us the fine art of mushroom picking. You know, these things are absolutely awesome. And again, you know what? I certainly, every time I'm walking through the woods in the spring, my eyes will be peeled for mushrooms for sure. Hey, everybody, hope you enjoyed our show this week. We certainly are all about doing different things. And speaking of doing different things, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have hundreds of different videos out there of all different things that we do from hunting, fishing, mushroom picking, magnet fishing. It's just endless. So join our YouTube channel. Remember, like I always say, what a great day it is to be alive.